All right, everybody, welcome. Who has the first question? Dana, I wanted to start with you and ask you about the significance of the main event, right? Just the second time in UFC history you'd have a men's title fight with an undefeated champion, an undefeated challenger. I mean, I imagine some of Anderson's fights are the biggest middleweight title fights in history, but for you, historically, what's the importance of this fight? Yeah, no, I love these kind of fights. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world, undefeated, in their prime, facing off for the world title, nothing gets better than this. And I said, when you look at this fight stylistically, I, I picked this fight to be fight of the year. Yeah. For the other guys in the co-main, we talked to Dom and Jan yesterday, and they both said, sure, we would have loved to beat John Jones, but he's gone. This is, this is the title fight. This is the real title. I'm curious, you as a promoter, once you know who the winner is, you know who the champion is, do you feel like you have to give him any help to like, kind of help him get out beyond that shadow of John Jones? No, I, th I think uh, you know, these guys will fight. One of them will win the title, and then uh, you know, th their careers will speak for themselves. They're going to have to, you know, to, to, to – it always sucks when you, when you can't beat the – you know, to be the man, you got to beat the man, that whole thing. But if these guys uh, win the title and, and go on a run like John Jones has had, their careers will speak for themselves. Fair enough. Israel, I wanted to ask you, please, you know, there's been a lot of talk today about, or this week, I should say, about energy and, you know, feeding off your opponent and what they offer you. I know we kind of just got here and we're out on a, on a beach right now, but what, what kind of energy are you picking up from, uh, from Paulo right now? Weak from cutting weight. I can see he's sucked out. He's dry. The sun's affecting him. And, yeah, he's trying to keep it together. I saw him when he arrived. He walked past my condo and, yeah, it is what it is. We're all looking forward to the stare down. We're excited that we get to have those. That's something we haven't got to do a lot lately. Um, what about you? Do you enjoy that moment of, of getting up close and, and, and getting that close to somebody ahead of a fight? And, and what do you take out of those moments? 100%. That's why I already did it. You know, I, I didn't have to walk back, but I did just to feel him. And yeah, like I said, I had him and the gremlin giggling like little girls. So from a guy who said he wouldn't shake my hand, um, he actually acted different when, when, I, when I met him in person. So yeah. Well, if you weren't if you weren't gonna shake my hand, why don't you slap it out the way? And I called you skinny, like you've been calling me skinny. You, you gave your hand to me, so I, I'm not a disrespectful guy like you. you. What? I'm educated. Paulo, let me ask you. I mean, uh, people do worry about your weight cut, right? I mean, it's a big one for you. You said it's tough yesterday. When he says you you, you look weak, I mean, do you feel weak? Is this is this a tougher weight cut than it has been in the past? No, I'm feel great. Uh, of course, I'm on process of cut weight, but. Uh, if I'm weak now, he's still always weak, you know. He, he don't need to cut weight to, to be weak. He's weak every time. Israel's had some fantastic fights and some highlights uh, in the UFC. What do you, when you look at his opponents, what's the biggest mistake or a common mistake that his opponents make against him? No, I, I think... Talk too much. I think he's... He, he, know, he knows my potential, my powerful, how dangerous I am. He knows that. Everybody knows. Last thing for you, Paulo. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at this as your power versus his precision, right? But I wonder, should we be talking more about your grappling, your jujitsu background? Uh, are, are we looking at this fight the wrong way? No, I, I, be, before becoming a striking, I was grappling. I'm back bad jujitsu. My brother is here, my coach. And uh, I have a, a lot of uh, knowledge on, on BJJ. And, uh, yes, this fight can, can be on, on the ground also. He sucked as a I'm, grappler. Whenever he shoots, he loses his, his gas tank within the first or second you never, shot. You never saw my grappling. No one needs to see your grappling because you sucked. You, you were on, the, on, on tough, on the floor. Say, no, I gave my all. Like, you know, I give 100%, 100%. Yeah. No. You can't grapple Bullshit. for shit. Bullshit. You're a bl blue belt of jiu-jitsu. And, and I, I, I still whooped the black belt on the, on the yeah, blue Bravo. Belt of and I had him in a triangle. Like a, like yeah, like a blue belt. If I, if I grab your neck, trust me, I'm not going to give it back. You don't know how do a armlock. Do me a shrimp. Do me a shrimp right now. I don't know even how do a armlock or give you a chip. I'll bring him you if I wanted to. I'll grab your fucking I collar you, right you now. Never, and you never put, put a arrow. gear on your body, on your skinny body. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you never put one gear on your skinny body, huh? Talk about jujitsu with me. You're crazy. I take acai too. I take acai too. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Dominic, just a quick one for you, if I could, please. I mean, obviously, a lot of people feel you won your last fight. Uh, you're the, you're the odds maker's favorite. Your name's first on the poster as far as this matchup goes. Uh, when you walk in on, on the cage on, on Saturday night, Sunday morning, do you feel like you're walking in as the champion already, or do you, do you have to prove something? I mean, it's about every performance. Um, every performance speaks for itself. It's all In this industry, it's about what you've done for me lately. So I'm showing up, and I'm going to prove that I'm the best in the world. That's all there is to it. Nice.
And just one quick one, if I could, for Jan as well. Uh, it wasn't that long ago, Jan, that you were, you know, one in four over five fights, and we were kind of writing you off, you know, and now here you are with a, a great chance to be champion of the world. What do you attribute the success to for, for you know, kind of not being derailed and, 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 and keeping that drive going forward? So I just have to beat Dominic, that's it, and I will on Sunday morning. Fair enough. And, and Dane, I just have one last one for you real quick. Yesterday during the media day, uh, several athletes, Israel included, uh, Hakeem Dawadu, Sajar Eubanks, they all brought up the fact that they were a little bit upset with Colby Covington and some of his latest remarks. I know last week you said, hey, I'm freedom of speech, freedom of speech, but do you feel like we might be getting to a point where we got to say, hey, listen, if something's racist or can even be perceived as racist, that's, that's the line. you got to cut it out. No, this is the tenth time you guys have asked me this. Yeah, I mean, I mean th these, guys, these guys all have their own causes, things, you know, all, their own beliefs. We, we don't muzzle anybody here. We, we let everybody uh, speak their mind. I don't, know, I don't know what he said that was racist. I, I don't know if I, I heard anything racist that he said. Um, you know, I don't know. Would you agree that if it is racist, though, it's wrong? It's, it yeah, yeah have a place. of course. Come on. We we'll just want to get I'm it not going to play these games with you guys. Come on. <laughs> if it's racist, do, do, would I? Yes, of course. Thank you. Izzy, we'll start with you. There's been a lot of chatter from a lot of the diehard fans about the Ultimate Fighter bringing it back. Was there any ever conversations for you to fight Paulo in the Ultimate Fighter's return? Nope. We never. I saw that on um, Instagram, people tagging me in that. And yeah, we never had a chat about that. I don't know where that came from. Any consideration of that, Paulo, on your side? About the, the Ultimate Fighter? The Ultimate Fighter. No, I, I'm not able to do any time, but I think he's scared to, to do this with me. I don't know why. We talk a lot about negative energy. You guys have studied each other for a long time. You've known each other would be facing each other. What's the one nice thing that you could say about Paulo? Izzy, we'll start with you. He has a good crowd. He's brought a laugh crowd with him. He's got a lot of yes men around him. Just my team, my coach, uh, as you, you coach. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Here, my yeah. four coach. I, I, I have a lot of people I around me. I don't need crowd. True, you actually, true. Yeah, you true. do. You hope you are a, a nice little audience, a little posse. I actually have a martial arts sensei. I don't have to switch teams or nothing like that. I stay true to the people who got me to the dance from day one. Is there anything, Paulo, you could say nice about this guy? Nice. Nice about him? Yes. You know, I met him. Met him personal uh, live on on the upstairs there on the hallway on the hotel and he sh he had extend his hand to me and you know oh you look good how are you you know I I expect you to see a different kind of guy like uh, just he's guy. that dog that barks but behind the fence whenever there's a fence he barks behind the fence but then when you open the fence then he's just I don't know I don't know who true he is you know if he's a fake he's trust me he, hey, get your oh, oh, he's, he get was your scared, again show us but I set sail for the you boys know. I just will go to <laughs> to raise him Dominic uh, your opponent Jan. He's predicting a third round finish. You have nine first round finishes. He has seven. What's the chances you think this fight makes it into the second round? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it will. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we both got power, and both we both want to put each other down. So, when this gold belt's on the line, I mean, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. How much more confidence that you have? Now, after going the distance with John Jones, some say controversial loss, heading into this match with Jan. It's another fight, man. It's just, he's a completely different opponent. He brings different challenges to the table, and I got to address him. And uh, I already know what I got to do to win. I just got to show up and do it. Question for Dana. How's your tooth feeling now? <laughs> it's great. Thanks. And uh, lastly, any update on Hamzat fighting here on Fight Island before Damian Maya? No, he'll fight, uh, he'll fight in Vegas. Hey, Dom. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about John Jones and stuff like that, but one of the downsides of having a dominant champion is the, the division sort of gets stagnant. Do you feel now he's gone, you have a, you're in a position to revitalize the 205-pound division? Yeah, man, it's, it's going to be my reign. We're gonna, it's, it's a whole new division, man. It's the same thing, different story, but I'm the champ now. That's all there is to it. I mean, Not yet. No, no, you are. We'll see. We'll see. And for Jan, it's, it's pretty clear that Dominic Reyes gave John Jones his probably his hardest fight, perhaps should have won that Because fight. John Jones don't fight against me. Did you see anything in that fight? What did you think Dominic Reyes did best in that fight that you can see and go, well, that's something I have to look out for? Hey, stand up. Stand up is really good, you know. Good takedown defense, southpaw position, good kicks. 
So, but I found uh, with my team his weakness, and I show in uh, Sunday morning. Israel, you mentioned at the beginning about uh, Paul Acosta's weight cut. How much do you think it will affect him on fight night? He's never made 185 on the dot, and every time you know you have that one pound allowance, and he's already struggling. But that one pound, that 600 grams, is a lot, especially for if you have if you've never been there before. But it's never really been an issue for me. I feel great. I don't feel drawn out. I can be in the sun all day, but I just like to relax when it's when it's fight week. Did you anticipate? Go on, sorry, Paul. I have been make uh, 185. Already. When you were 16. I did. I did. Um, Still on the juice. Two, three years ago before FC. So, it's, but my body is respond better than ever. I'm on the you know the most low way now than on the my my most recent fight against El Romero. So. My weight is going very well. I feel great. A lot of energy. You guys will see a, a beast inside the cage. This is one of the first times you guys have been next to each other. And obviously, you guys are going back and forth. I was interested, Paulo. This is probably one of the first people who's really gone at you verbally before a fight. Does it annoy you having someone poke you and irritate you? Ele deve ser o primeiro cara que fala muito pra, antes de uma luta com você. Isso te perturba? No, it's normal to me. It's normal. He's not the first guy who talk a lot of shit. And uh, I'm... I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm good with that. You know, it does not affect me. I'm, I'm very professional, and I will be my, I will do my performance with no problem. You know, it's not depends what he say or not. And Dana, I was just curious for you, what does it mean for this guy? It's not that they're fighting for a title; they're both undefeated. What does it mean for a champion to defeat an undefeated contender, and vice versa for the contender to be an undefeated champion? Yeah, that's what I said when we opened. It's 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 the couldn't ask for anything more if you're a fight fan. If you love watching fights, this is the type of fight you want to watch right here. Thanks, Dan. Okay, so my question is for Jan. Jan, obviously, this is the huge moment for Polish MMA, and the support co comes from the all over the place, from the fighters, from the over athletes, from the media. It's basically everyone in Poland is talking about your fight. How it does feel like two days before the the event? Yeah, it feels great. I cannot wait, you know, to step to octagon and uh, start fighting against Dominic. So, yeah, it's a historic moment for Polish MMA, MMA, and I'm excited, you know. I cannot wait to start fighting. Okay, and question for Dominic and for for you. We see a lot of bad blood between the main event, but between you guys, there are huge mutual respect. Where does it comes from? You know, I don't I don't need uh, bad blood. You know, if uh, I do my best, what I can do inside the cage, I try to knock uh, knock him out. But after the, the fight, I can drink bigger with him. No problem for me. Same thing, man. This is, this is a sport. I'm here. I approach it as a sport. I mean, some people have bad blood. Some people don't like each other. I have no bad blood toward Jan, but I do want to take his head off. So that's part of the game. Okay, so the last one. Uh, fans say that Dominic looks a little bit like Vegeta, the, the character from Dragon Ball. So he, if he is Vegeta, what kind of character you will be? Broly. You know him? Come on, man, that's real easy. Yeah, Broly was the best. What? All up outside. Cool, man. Cool. Uh, question for Izzy and Paolo. What were you guys just uh, saying to each other while the other two were answering questions? Lots of mean like stuff. I, I, I say Lots of mean things to each other. <laughs> I say that. I like how you say this. Brinco, brinco. Yeah, I like his earrings. He's, he's beautiful. I, 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 I think my, it on my mom I said, has this, one. This, I'll fit this on him on Saturday night. I think night. my mom has one very similar of his his ring. <laughs> you wish your mom had beautiful. one very it's similar. Beautiful. You beautiful. wish your mom had one very similar. Beautiful. Shut the fuck up before I become your beautiful. stepdad. <laughs> Grounded. Go to your room. Uh, one final one. Izzy, uh, is there a reason you specifically wore an Akatsuki shirt out today? I'm feeling dark for this fight. I'm feeling very Akatsuki, very... Um, Yakuza, if you will, you know, very, I want to, like I said, even apparently Dana is like, oh, I'm not a fan of all this theatrics and whatnot, you know, but yeah, I've, just, I've been focused on the fight for this one. I haven't really thought about anything else because there's no fans, so I'm just focused on the fight for this one. I feel very dark. I feel like Jet Li and Unleashed, so I want to get Unleashed on this guy. Dana, what makes Fight Island 2.0 better than the first one? What's the question? Is Fight Island 2.0 better than the yeah, first one? Yeah, wh uh, what makes us different from the first Fight Island? Different fights? <laughs> no, 
now that we have other sports back, you know, a lot of people are talking, seeing other bubbles like the NBA bubble. Uh, I want I want to ask you, like, what makes MMA, you know, so different that it was the first sport back during the pandemic? Because I wasn't afraid to go ahead. This guy. I wasn't afraid to do it, and I knew my staff would, and I knew the fighters would go. I knew. And just for Jan and Ray's, you know, uh, does the fact that you guys uh, are don't don't have the bad blood affect like you know mentally? Do do you prefer do you prepare different for for that? Not at all. It's the same preparation. We're here to fight. That's it. He's in my way. That's all there is to it. Same thing. I just want to do my best inside the octagon. That's it. I don't need blood, uh, bad blood. Uh, question to Dana. Uh, you already said that Hamza Chimaev is not coming to the fight island. Just this morning he tweeted that he's getting a, a main event fight, which is going to be for five rounds. Can you con confirm this information? Yeah, it's true. And uh, any word on his opponent? No. Is it going to be a ranked fighter? Yes. Thank you. Hi, just one for Paolo. Um, we know that you are a big fan of Bolsonaro, and last weekend we had uh, Trump calling Colby Covington after his win. Would you, would you feel happier if Bolsonaro called you after you win? Yes, uh, me and he, we are friends. Uh, you are Portuguese or English? It can be in English, it's fine. So then. Okay, we are good friends. I, I have been there for, uh, I think, two months ago, three months ago on, on his... Uh, palace. I don't know how how say the name of that that, that place, but yes, uh, I told him I, I have a, a good talk with him. I told him I will uh, raise the, the the flag of Brazil there and uh, to represent to represent our Brazilians and bring this victory to to our country and for him because he's a hero for for me also. Did he say anything if he's gonna call you? If are you expecting this call? No, I, I have a direct uh, line with him, you know, so we, we talk with WhatsApp sometimes. So, yeah, if he called me, I would be happy, of course. Thank you. Good. That's it. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll square these guys off here in a minute.